Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Mystical Mermaid, folks. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I am still here. What about that? It's going to take a lot more to run me off. All right, y'all. So let's get the overall energy for the collective today. On Friday, the 25th, I believe. But let, yep. February the 25th. Overall energy for the collective watching this video on YouTube. What is the overall energy? The overall energy, please. Last shuffle. We have energy and then flow on the bottom, okay? So, you know, look, fear's right underneath it. Trust this, okay? I feel that this is, uh, I feel someone's kind of going in, jumping in and changing up their energy. Whether you've been down and out, whether you've been sickly, whether you've been happy, and it's literally something is changing up. Um, some fears may be in there, but listen, I'm here and trust this. Um, go with this flow. Go with the flow. I feel like something is fixing to change up for you for the better. Okay. All right. So let's use the myths of the mermaids here i'm sorry you guys i didn't realize that was on top of that okay all right so let's get the positives and the negatives out of this situation y'all i don't like that at all how was that like that i don't know I don't know. It'll be alright. I'm sorry if that bothers anybody. Okay, y'all. Um, let's get... No, I can't see. Now I can't see. Okay. The positives and then the negatives of today. The positives of the collective play spirit. What is something positive from today? For the collective. February the 25th, please, Spirit, may it be clear and precise to the line for the collective. Something positive. Something negative. Start the positive. Okay, this is hanging out, so we may take this. Okay. So. I have no idea what's going on there. Alright, so an alien emerges. And then we have mermaid with the butterflies. Hmm. Okay. So, with this alien card here, this is something that is foreign to you. This could very well be um, literally someone coming into your life that is foreign to your native whatever. Um, this is also, um, I almost feel intimidated so this could be like some fear or intimidation of being a bit different. That's what that's what I'm feeling. Okay, with this, I, I feel some fear and intimidation of just being different. All right. So I feel with this alien card and it being in the positive, either someone very different is coming in towards you, or you're this different person. Okay. And you just need to own that, okay? Take ownership of this. Now, 
with the mermaid with the butterflies here. Of course, as soon as I see these butterflies, I want to go straight to the transformation and those deep blue eyes. Okay. Now, this is, I'm hearing, I will rise up. Okay. That's one of my favorite songs. But anyways, this is rising above whatever situation you have went through. Transforming. Now, <clears throat> excuse me as I cough right into there. All right. So, <clears throat> right here. This card here talks about giving yourself more time to achieve something, okay? So, perhaps you didn't do something fast enough or on your timeline, right? So, perhaps that is exactly what has brought you down in this kind of energy of being um, fearful or just at a standstill, okay? Um, perhaps this alien card is someone coming in to help you that you normally wouldn't be in their group or whatever. Um, I keep hearing that song. Maybe this is you embracing the fact that you're different. That's what's on the bottom. We have a certain slant of light. Hmm. All right, folks, so this is, do you see how that light is behind her? This is literally divine light. This is enlightenment. This is um, awareness, okay? So um, this is some sort of enlightenment. Like this little lady here has literally been waiting on this. So, just because something has taken, taken you longer, doesn't mean you're not receiving it. You are, actually. Something you've waited for is coming in. This is very positive. I feel like whatever this opportunity is, this is going to change your whole energy. Okay? All right, let's see the negatives with this. Let me go ahead and put that out. What are the negatives with this? The negatives. The negative. The negative. The negative. Okay. We have the mermaid with floating flowers. Hmm. When she's got one of those um, mad faces. <laughs> okay. This is you, this card. This card is about being honored. Being recognized for something that you do, an achievement that you do, with this being a negative, maybe you feel 
like this is something that you haven't done yet um, and you're pushing yourself so it's on the bottom the mermaid with the pink lotus okay this is being stressed. This is being overwhelmed. Okay. Um, someone's going to come in and, and help you relax. Help you. Maybe it's that alien. Right. Someone that perhaps is a, different than you somehow. But someone's going to bring in some sort of calmness. Okay. They could have green eyes or something particular about their eyes, okay? Because I went straight to that. And actually, I went straight to the, the blue-eyed one, too. So, you get confirmation. I, I feel like something significant about someone's eyes, okay? So, should we get... So, as we use those, let's get some of the C melodies here. Collective. What is it? The collective needs to know about the situation. We have generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it for yourself? Okay. So, maybe you're being generous to someone, or someone's going to be generous to you. Charitable, okay? We have guidance. Find safety in your beacon's light. Opportunity. I knew it. You will prove yourself and discover... You will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. So, if you put yourself out there, this opportunity isn't just going to fall into your lap. You're going to have to put yourself wherever it the rough seas, right? We have change. Know when to move on to new shells, especially... If yours no longer fits. Okay. And here's that opportunity. Let's see what's on the bottom. Rescue. Help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it. So. That's two charitable cards I've got. So if you're in need of help, then... Don't don't feel like you're a burden. Don't don't feel see what's next. Wild. Believe in your otherworldly beauty. Dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. See, I feel like it's you that's different. I feel like you're the alien. I feel like um, I feel like you're about to rejoin your world or something like that. Maybe this opportunity is what brings you out, or maybe once you join, then that's when you receive this opportunity, folks. Okay, but you're going to miss this opportunity if you don't listen to your instincts and your intuition. Okay, so let's get. I actually want to do.
this is the Gaia Oracle. We have Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. Another guidance. So I feel like something was most definitely blocking you or in your way. Or was it you blocking yourself and sabotaging? We have the Moonlight Goddess. Repressed emotions, healing reflection jewel within a teardrop appreciation spiritual and emotional moon connection Apprehensive, what's next? Moving out into the world, doubt or fears. See, I felt that fear from the very beginning. There's something that you're fearing, something. But I feel like if you swallow that up, be brave, put that armor on, trust then some sort of big opportunity is coming towards you, okay? Let's get one of our Earth Oracles. All right. Our Earthcraft Oracle. What is it? Our collective needs to hear for their high self, the spirit. What is it that they need to hear for their high self? I keep moving on rising. We have number 18 offerings. Someone's going to help you. Most definitely. I feel it. And then we have soul loss on the bottom. So I feel like you've really had either a, a tremendous loss or been going through a very challenging, painful time. Okay. And someone is going to help be your strength to pull you out. Number 18 offerings. All right, folks, it says Mother Earth is giving is a giving mother. She gives everything to her children, providing food for us to eat, air to breathe, and water to drink. We depend on her resources and her resilience to sustain us. Now, ask yourself, how much have you given in return? It's easy to get caught up in what you don't have what you don't have or what you need more of. But never forget the abundance that has already been given to you. Yeah. Offerings, giving freely and without 
debt or expectations. Our very way of showing our thanks. Hmm. Okay. The offerings card comes to you. It tells you to be mindful of how much you give compared to how much you receive. And it reminds you to show your gratitude. Working towards balancing the scales of give and take. Not just with Mother Earth, but all relationships in your life. Relationships are sacred ways to bring more harmony into your life. If you have been a taker in the past, try to find ways to be generous. Be more of a giver in whatever way you can. Call a friend who usually calls you. Help your partner around the house or stop to water a flower on a morning hike. If you've been giving all of your energy away, try to allow your heart to open a little more. Accept compliments, support, and offers of help. As I sit here and read this, I also want to say, let this flip as well, okay? Take it how it resonates, obviously. Leave it for the next person if it doesn't. But when I say flip the script, obviously, no matter which side of the script you're on, we need to all show more gratitude, I feel, all of us. But I feel that um, be charitable or, or even if you can't afford financially to be charitable, it doesn't cost to love someone. It doesn't cost... As I hear that J-Lo song, love don't cost a thing. But anyways, um, it, it doesn't cost anything to help whoever, mom, or whoever's job it is to clean the house or clean out the car, clean up the yard. Anyways, I want to kind of see what the soul loss is about. Number 29. Because my mind is wanting to go there to see. Let's read it real fast. This was what was on the bottom, y'all. I just want to see if this is what triggered it. Soul loss represents powerlessness. And a loss of identity. Traumatic events shake us to our core so much so that the soul is disconnected from the body and lost to the confusion as we try to make sense of the chaos. It's natural to lose a connection to the truest parts of yourself after trauma. Major events are not the only incidents that can trigger trauma. Small traumas can accumulate to cause the soul to suddenly and unexpectedly sever its tether to the body. To regain your soul, look to the Last time you felt unconditional joy and excited without 
outside influence. Seek your inner child, that part of your being that still remembers how to laugh and how to approach the world with curious wonders. Connect to Mother Earth and the simple pleasures of the sun on your face and grasp between your toes. Allow yourself to feel inspired and to see the beauty in a new adventure about experiences. Notice what feels good Okay, so replace suffering with the process of getting to know yourself again. So I feel like this soul loss wasn't particularly about, and you very well could be mourning a loved one, but I feel like this is your soul. I feel like this is your your loss. I feel like... Um, this has triggered some sort of awakening or um, a transition in your spiritual journey. I feel like um, I almost feel less than or feel very much like not good enough or um, I don't know. It's hard to explain what I'm feeling. Um, Whatever this is, know that you deserve love. Know that you are enough. The moment you start this inner healing, and and I feel like you're on your way there. I feel like you are um, definitely reflecting on who you are, what you are, what you stand for, what you believe in. Um and that's what you need to do. I feel that you have let people physically, emotionally, mentally beat you down to the point to where you're not sure who you are or what your purpose is. Okay? I, I feel like you're finally coming out of that. All right, folks? And I feel like once we do this healing, then there's going to be a huge opportunity to really shift this energy okay we just have to trust all right folks well that's what i have for you today i hope you've enjoyed it i hope that it resonates somehow or gives you some sort of comfort all right folks i hope everyone has a blessed day full of many blessings love one another be kind to one another let's uplift each other and y'all, it is great to be back. I'm going to try to stay consistent and, and put myself on a schedule. Okay, y'all? I love you and I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.